A reporter who uh, has firsthand knowledge of the problems with Dominion voting machines speaks out on rigged elections from socialist countries such as Venezuela. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. Alan Santos, a journalist with Tersa Livre, which is a Brazilian uh, media company, a uh, conservative media company. Thank you for joining us on One America News. Thank you so much, Mr. Hines. It's my honor to be here. Uh, Mr. Santos, I know you're a reporter with Tersa Livre in Brazil, and you have uh, come across some evidence that has a bearing on the counting in our U.S. elections. What have you discovered, sir? So, uh, in my experience in South America, we are following lots of election fraud as the, the recent one in Bolivia. And due to that, we followed the Smartmatic company, who is a company that count votes. It's a, like a, a voter machine used to have in Venezuela, Brazil, Bolivia, Argentina, and so forth. And we have lots of uh, news in Brazil, even the outlet media, uh, slamming uh, Smartmatic Company. And the Smartmatic Company owner is the Lord Mark Malock Brown, who is also a board member of the Open Society Foundation. And the one thing is it's weird, it's when you open the Smartmatic official website, says, they started in Florida back 2000. But the problem is we have a story in Brazil, Brazilian BBC version, Portuguese, saying the Smartmatic started in Venezuela, not in Florida. And not only this, the Smartmatic company uh, also used to work with Dominion, the, the company system that you are using here. But it's, it's weird uh, how they operate because it's the same pattern in Brazil back 2014 and also back 2018. One uh, candidate was leading and then he stopped counting. And after an hour or after 40 minutes, something like that, everything changed. And I saw that here. And I can assure you, communists love fraud election. They love to do fraud. And I'm not pretty sure if American people remember, but Trump tweeted back 2012, it doesn't matter who you vote for, it matters who is counting the votes. So what is the connection between these Smartmatic uh, machines and the Dominion machines, do you suppose? So they have a contract for using uh, softwares. Uh, and, uh, and you can follow this on law.ustia.com, and you can see how they operate together here in America. So it's there in the website. So the connection has to do with the software that both of these uh, companies use, these vote counting services. Is that it? Yes. Do we know if uh, George Soros is connected with any of these uh, vote counting uh, software ideas or software Some programs? Yes, yeah, somehow, because... The, the, the Smartmatic owner, uh, he is a board member of the Open Society Foundation. Of course, you, you, you're you going to see some uh, uh, fact check saying they are not connected. He's just a member of the, the board. But come on, I mean, for us in Brazil, it's very clear. So how George Soros is helping the Black Lives Matter, he has... Uh, uh, Open Society Foundation and the member of the board of Open Society Foundation, of the board, sorry, the board member of uh, Open Society Foundation is the owner of the Smartmatic. And how can someone tell me they are not connected? They are not doing anything together. Not for us in Brazil. Alan Santos, a journalist, a Brazilian journalist with Sosa Livre, a Brazilian media company, conservative media company, media outlet. Thank you very much for talking to us on One American News, sir. Thank you so much. My pleasure.